Hitler? Did he start Second World War over um, religion? Um, so, uh, what's his name? St Stalin. Yeah. The Sa Sakamagi, can't pronounce it, the bomb that was dropped. Yeah. Um, Pearl Harbor. Was this all over religion? No. So I think it's an unfair statement, but I'm going to leave that to one side, madam, because I can imagine you're in a bit of a rush. So, yeah, I, can, I can see that, I can see that. So my question to yourself is, the universe, where did it come from? You, you tell me, where do you believe it comes from then? Because I actually don't know. I don't know. Thank you. That's, that's, that, that is a good, humble, humil position to have due it's to the fact that... It's something I question. I'm and and, and again... To where does it come from? What we don't know. What, what we need to do is respect where we are. We're going to get to respect, madam. I think right now, where do I believe the universe came from? The universe didn't come from nothing. Because from nothing comes nothing. Okay? Now, you could argue the Big Bang Theory. Yeah? I would argue what caused the Big Bang Theory. I would say it was something powerful something outside the universe, something with intelligence and something with will. And something which is self-sustaining, something which is eternal. And this falls into the realm of God. Because logic dictates that something can't come from nothing. Because there's no example of there's nothingness and suddenly something there. Yeah. Oh, two atoms collided, Big Bang. Where did the atoms come from? I'm saying that there's too much design for there not to be a designer. You said that, oh, wars are started by religion. I'm saying wars are started by men. Wars are started by greed, ego. Yeah? And these are things that Islam polices it makes you humble it tells you how to treat one another how to be a good mother how to be a good father how to do business transactions how to um, even I'll be honest with you um, how to do warfare yeah. Yeah. So can I ask you the Taliban yeah. shoot girls they want to go to school and learn. How is that teaching peace? They I'm here um, introducing people to Islam. Mm -hmm. Now, Taliban is... What is Taliban? This information you got, where did you get that information from? Is it a new tool? Is it a new tool? I know that girls are not allowed to go to school, and if they do, they they get into trouble. So where where am I lying? Because I've read that. I've been to Afghanistan. I don't think you're lying. I believe you've read it. I don't know exactly what you've so, seen in Afghanistan, but what I do know is, in the time of the Prophet Muhammad, yeah, um, the greatest scholar, female scholar. Was I shall have her. I'm working on it, madam. I'm working on it. She's a bit of a hard nut to crack. I respect you. Have a good evening. Can I answer your question? Can I finish answering your question? Yes. So, I shall have her. If you research her, you'll find that she was a great female scholar. We don't, we don't, we don't actually shy away from women being educated, from women um, things. But then I would challenge where you're getting this uh, information in regards to Afghanistan and how they're shooting people. And I would argue, why don't we look into who created the instability there? Why don't we look into... Yes, yeah. But then, but we don't mention that. And I would say, why don't you come here and say to me, oh, what's happening in France? Why is there a ban in regards to women wearing too much clothes? But we're not having that conversation. We're having a conversation about people getting shot in Afghanistan. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes but we need to think critically. Like who came first, the chicken or the egg? I'm saying girls should not be set on fire if they want to go to school. 
end of yeah, okay. and I agree yeah. and I'm saying Islam doesn't teach her but I'm saying that if no 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 no, no. Really if is. if it's so, I'm Jewish it's like the Hasidic Jews it's exactly it's so I'm Jewish <laughs> and my whole but family no way is, in it's Islam. so extreme and yeah. that's but again, yeah, even extreme. that rhetoric, it's extreme, yeah, it's like extremism. Extreme. Even even you came in, I'm a radicalizing you. But I specifically, no, she, I your friend mentioned it. But I'm saying, but where, where did you get that from? Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Go now. We've got to go. Have a good evening. Have a lovely evening, madam. Thank you so much for your time. Alhamdulillah. Um, yeah, I think what ends up happening is, we take what the Western media is telling us and we don't actually reflect and think to ourselves, wait, is there a bias? Is there something that we're missing critically? Why are we reading books and reading articles that um, malign and portray Islam in a negative way? Where in reality, wait, Islam isn't teaching for some women to not get educated. Islam isn't teaching for people to get or children or girls to get burnt when they're trying to get education in fact islam is in the forefront of educating um, women and children when you look at um, the islamic empire we actually put emphasis in regards to looking after the widows looking after the orphans we don't we don't we don't hear this and now you're seeing um these women mentioning um the instability in afghanistan how was Afghanistan before um, it got invaded, before the America tried to invade it, before um, there was an unjust war that took place in, Af um, in Iraq? But then we're not, we're not having this conversation. We're not talking about what's happening in China with the Rohingya Muslims. We're not talking about what's happening to the Muslims in India. Why, why not? Why, why, why didn't she bring up these points? Two million Chinese Muslims in, in concentration camps trying to get um, take the Islam away from them, and that's the old statistics. The numbers have increased further. What's happening in India with um, Kashmir? But we don't talk about these things. What's happening in Palestine? What is the UN saying? But we don't talk about these things. But then they have this red herring, and they won't talk about um, girls getting shot in Afghanistan. Subhanallah. Before I get too emotional, may Allah guide them, give us a tawfiq to actually know the state of the ummah, to educate ourselves, to actually speak compassionately with people who are ignorant on these topics. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.